In an earlier video, we discussed sequence by color, but there are other ways to sequence designs in color film. Whenever you edit a design and change colors, you must be aware of the implications of the change in terms of stitch order. This design was created using mirror merge horizontal to add a second design that was a duplicate of this first design, and then lettering was added. First, look at color film and see that the first design stitches out and then the duplicate stitches out. We could stitch out this design much more efficiently if we combine colors. And we can do this by going to design and optimize color changes and then click OK. And now the light colors are combined. Now let's say we wanted to change the color of the lettering. And I can select the lettering because it's not grouped with the design and simply click on a different color chip and that will change the color of the lettering. Now let's say we want to stitch the lettering before the design. With the lettering selected, I can click on Move to Start, and that means that the lettering will stitch before the design. Let's say we also want to change these pink leaves to blue, and we can easily do this through color film. So I'll first of all click on Show Objects, and then I want to scroll down into the pink area until I locate the pieces that need to be changed. I will hold both the Control and the Alt key. The Alt key because I'm working with a group design and the Control key to select multiples. I'll select these four objects and then click on the color chip in the color palette to change those colors to blue. Let's say we also want to make a flower down here at the intersection, and I can easily do that by again holding down the Alt and the Control key and selecting the components of a flower and then right clicking and dragging to make a quick clone. When I collapse Show Objects back into Colors, you can see that the design is skipping around a lot because of the changes that I made. So let's say we want to combine the, these pink colors. So I'll hold the Alt key down and select the pink flower that I just added and click on back one color until it combines with the other pink. I can also then hold down the Alt key and select the pink and move it back one color to combine with the other pink colors. When you make changes like this, you also want to zoom in to check the stitch order implications. So you can see that I now have the yellow stitching on top of the pink, which is not a good thing. By holding the Alt key down and selecting the pink, I can click on Move to End, and now the pink will stitch on top of the yellow. However, this also has caused a problem in that there is a running stitch that runs on top of the yellow. By deleting these running stitches, I can stitch the pink flowers independently at the end, and they will have jump stitches in between. To delete these running stitches, I can also use color film. I will click on Show Objects and then scroll down to the end where I will find my pink. These lines that you see are the running stitches. I will again hold the Alt and Control key and select each of the running stitches. Then I can right click and select Delete and the running stitches are now gone. This will work because the yellow can stitch before the pink and each of the pink flowers will have jump stitches in between. I'm going to collapse the objects back into colors and get an overview of how the design is going to stitch out. I can also see that those two pink leaves that I changed into blue can be combined with this other blue. So I'll click on back one color to combine those leaves.